some of the country's top athletes, including Rio Olympians, are set to take part in the National Race Walking Championships to be held on February 18th and 19th. NNIA speaks to Athletic Federation of India President Adil Sumriwala on race walking and what is AFI doing to promote race walking in India. I think we started taking it seriously very quietly in 2005. That's when we first got a foreign coach on this soil to do race walking. Everybody said, what is this? Hai? But we thought that this was an event that we could do well in. And now in 2015, 16, 17, we are seeing the results. So it takes that long. The cycle is that long. And today, if you're having athletes in the top 10 in the world, the top 15 in the world, it means a lot. We're doing uh, lots of things. Uh, one, one is that we are uh, getting race walking in all our national championships. We're trying to get kids from districts to come in and participate in race walk championships. We have the All India Inter-District Athletic Championships, where 350 districts take part. <coughs> we are now getting a second foreign coach. We are doing clinics for our coaches. We are doing clinics for our officials so that we can get more and more people involved in the race walking uh, uh, area and ensure that you know we keep getting more and more bench strength from where we can bring out champions. See, uh, what really makes me happy is that we had seven qualifiers in race walking for three slots. That just shows that if they can achieve the Olympic qualifying standard, then the standard is really high. Now, when you train together, six, seven of them train together and keep pushing each other because now everybody wants to just to participate is tough, not winning a medal. So everybody is pushing themselves in training. And when this happens, and this is the phenomenon I have seen everywhere in the world, whether it's the throwing countries where they have 30 throwers throwing over 60 meters of discus, or 20 throwers throwing in the range of 20 meters in short putt, and then you get a world champion. Similarly, in races, the middle and long distance races, you see the African countries. Each of these African countries can have 10 people who qualify. But finally, only two will run or three will run. So it's really, really tough uh, for them to qualify. And that's what pushes them to victory.